I spent nine years in Nashville because I didn't know any better. And after a while, I realized something. I realized I just wasn't good at uh, working the system. I was too much of a guy that wanted to take his own path, do his own thing. So I'd married this beautiful girl from McKinney, Texas, and we just decided to move back to her hometown and start a family. And I should have known this because I was born in Texas, but I moved away when I was young. Anyway, I realized in Texas, it's a whole state full of people who don't like being told what to do and who don't like being part of the machine and who pave their own path. And that's, to me, when I think about Texas, I think of that independent spirit that we've had ever since the beginning when those uh, settlers down in Gonzales, Texas got ordered to give back the cannon and they had that flag and they waved it in their face. Not only did they not give it back, they had to make a flag that said, come and take it and wave it in their faces. And that pretty much sums up the Texas attitude, I think, to this day. So here's a song for all of y'all that are proud to be Texas like that. Well, he makes his own bullets And he makes his own luck He makes Harburg look easy in a worn out old truck He's 88 still working till he breaks his back he can't tell him no different cause he's Texas like that well she's good with the horses and she's good with the kids but she'll fight just as hard as any man At the end of a waltz When you took her back She's a beautiful sight Cause she's Texas like that It's a fire in your belly That says we're gone says come and take it it's a long star shining though the bad may be black from where I stand I see Texas I go this isn't your first time here at Frog Fest is it I think it's your second or third I think it's the third yeah and um, you know it's an honor to be uh, part of, uh, uh, you know, the Lone Survivor Foundation yeah. that's being benefited by this, and uh, I believe in the work that they do. I'm thankful for um, all of our service members and the sacrifices they make, and so uh, I definitely, it's fun for me to get to kill two birds with one stone. We get to put on a fun show and do what we do, but we also get to spread the awareness uh, for the good cause. Very worthy cause. Keep up the great work. Thanks for your time, Zane Williams. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> you rule, man. Hey, thanks, brother. King of the road. King of the road, like right that. here. <laughs> Here's another Evadale Raceway fabulous flashback. <laughs> you got a hat kind of like, um, almost like uh, the race car driver. Uh, Richard, Richard Petty. Richard Petty, yeah. I've actually interviewed him once or twice. Nice, nice, yeah. yeah. He's got a few more feathers, but that, that's cool, man. That's traditional. Yeah, I like it. You say all the way they are working hard from the sun up to the sun down. They can build it tall, they can tear it on down. K -K King of the road. That was this week's Evadale Raceway Fabulous Flashback.